You have a question? You have a question? You got a question on the universe? Is there really a 10th planet? The last we checked, there's only eight. What planet would you want to visit and why? I want to go ice fishing on Europa. What's the next hot thing in astrophysics? It is our abject ignorance. Office hours are closed. Don't worry, the rest of your questions will be answered on Nova Science Now. Premiering June 30th, right here on PBS. Photographer James Baylog has an obsession with ice. You get seduced by the beauty of it, you know, you just get drawn in. Risking his life taking pictures on the shrinking ice. This is one of the scariest, dumbest things I've done in my life. To understand. I'm not feeling real comfortable out here. Why? Whoa, that is intense. It's disappearing. Extreme Ice on a Nova National Geographic special. A spacewalker practice is a critical maneuver. It's not working as well as we had hoped. To save a dying explorer, the Hubble Space Telescope. It's the most productive science instrument that's ever been made. Seven astronauts put their lives on the line. The risk of dying is one in 70. These are very brave people. On a rescue mission the world is watching, NOVA is there. Hubble's amazing rescue on NOVA. The Great Sphinx, a head as big as a house, its paws as long as a city bus, its body about the length of a football field and as tall as the White House. It was the first time in the history of Egypt that they created sculpture at this scale. How did the ancient Egyptians build it and why? Riddles of the Sphinx on Nova. ANOVA. You're driven by what is down there. Divers plunge into seductive underwater caves. They're descending into an alien environment. And they're coming up big. We're finding species that nobody knew existed. But there's a price. This is the most dangerous sport on Earth. Extreme Cave Diving, a NOVA National Geographic special. Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson had become a planet pilfering, sky squishing, Pluto pulverizing marauder of the cosmos. When we have a complex topic involving space to describe to our audience, which uh, unlike my friends Messrs. Stewart and Colbert measures about 10 million Americans, we call on Neil to do it. Neil is a frequent contributor on this broadcast in this very studio, and yet on this one, he has thrown his weight around a little bit too much. He's not the boss of the solar system. He's not the boss of me. When he and his uh, cronies downgraded Pluto at the beginning of the Hidden Planetarium, I didn't know what we were dealing with. Some kind of galactic despot. Just go in there willy-nilly and, uh, you know, oh, Pluto, you're not a planet anymore. And Jupiter, uh, now uh, we're going to refer to you as uh, Steve. Neil deGrasse Tyson has betrayed us yet again. <laughs>